Boston's North End, also known as Little Italy, is home to cobblestone streets, over 80 Italian eateries, including La Galleria 33, a family restaurant opened in 2006 by sisters Rita and Lisa. In 1965, my dad moved here from Italy, worked in a few restaurants, and in 1985, he was able to open his own. It's called Losteria. Hey, bye bye. There was immediate success in Losteria. My sister and I grew up there and worked there. Are we gonna call my mama? Following the success of their parents' restaurant and with their parents' financial help, Lisa and Rita branched out and opened La Galleria 33, just under 100 feet away. When we opened, we expected Galleria 33 would have immediate success because that is what my father found. Let it be a reservation. We figured at some point we would get busy, but it just, it never took off. Everybody's abandoning us. Where are they all going? I don't know. Not only do we look at each other and try to figure out what's wrong with it, I'm not sure I know what to do. We start doing crazy things like, I'll stop blaming it on the weather. Well, it's too hot, they can't eat today. It's snowing. It's raining, they can't park and walk. And... It's the beginning of the month, nobody has money, they have to pay their rent. These aren't our clients, all they got shorts on. There's a game. We've taken the tablecloths off, we put them back on. We lowered the prices. We put the curtains up, we took the curtains down. Put 95 at the end of the prices. My mother's thought of why this place didn't work was because the font, are you ready for this? The font on the menu was too small. My head is killing me, where's that coffee? You want Tylenol? I don't know how to fix it, I don't. Cause I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm pretty sure this is what a nervous breakdown feels like. I know what the problem is, it's the owners. They want to get slapped tonight. Huh? Slapped, left and right. Get the fuck out of here. They treat people really bad. Go talk to the customers, go entertain them while they're waiting for the fucking food. We are very unprofessional. Shut up. Pat, don't add to my fucking stress today. Lisa drinks and Rita smokes everywhere. Am I like the only smoker left in America? Everyone makes such a big deal about me smoking. Rosa, go do something. That's my spot. We're like staffed by a bunch of nuts. Rosa, could you not do that? Thanks. She told me to sweep. She's sweeping me. She's sweeping it on me, though. Don't sweep it on my sisters in the I hate you. We need help. We really do. I think after so many years of this being unsuccessful, we're slowly not caring. Now, I, I shouldn't say not caring, like we're, we're used to it. These are a lot of bills for real. I'm getting very nervous right now. There's so much invested and if it, if it doesn't at some point start to make money, this could be the cause of my mother and father like losing everything. They built so much, and I don't want to be the, the reason why, you know, God forbid, they would have lost everything. That's why it's very sad. Wow, there's a lot of Italian restaurants. Rita, I gotta throw my gum and I can't swallow. Just spit it away. Kill. Just spit it over there. No way. Hold on. I did it. That was difficult. I'm not swallowing mine. I'm gonna keep my breath minty fresh. Oh, man. Hi. 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 Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Hello, how are you? Very good. Nice to see you. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Sarah, good to see you. Good to see you. Are the owners here? Here we are. Here we are. We bring you from behind here. Excuse me. How are you? I thought you were a customer. Lisa, nice to see you. Lisa, nice to see you. I'm Rita. Rita, nice to see you both. I thought you were customers. I'm so sorry. No, no. Let's go have a little seat. Do you know we sit out there? I didn't know he was coming. He just came like a bat out of hell and went inside. He didn't even. Stop. First of all, I'm happy to be here. But you guys are partners, right? Yes. Uh, give me a little bit of background. Our parents um, opened Losteria in 85. I was four. Oh, your mum and dad have a restaurant? Yep, five doors In up. Boston? Yes, five, five doors. Five doors down? Yes. Correct. Right across the street diagonally. You're kidding me. No. I just walked past it. Yes. You did. So we decided, let's Ranch try off. and open another one. We know what we're doing, we thought. Galleria 33, what does that mean? 33 comes from where? It, Rita, let Rita explain. I was 33 when we opened it means this. nothing to me. No. Well, you're not 33 yet. Wait. 
till the fabulous things start happening when you're 33. The gallery was like art gallery. The art gallery. We wanted the wall to be replicas of like famous artwork, and we hired this painter, if you can call him that. We started to paint naked cherubs, and we had to fire naked. him. Naked cherubs. Oh. They were on the ceiling. They were on the ceiling. They were on the wall. Like naked. There was a woman with her breasts out, like eating dinner. Who eats dinner like that? Who eats dinner in the nude? Are you chewing gum? No. No. What did you chew? I swallowed it. I swallowed it. No. Oh. <laughs> so you've stopped chewing gum? I don't normally ever Not chew healthy. gum. Yeah, but you shouldn't be swallowing it either. I was afraid of what you were going to say if I said yes. <laughs> no, but uh, so you are chewing gum? I was chewing gum. And now you just swallowed it? Yes. I went to Catholic school. So we used to have to take the gum and put it on our nose and spend the whole day like that. So, I mean, I don't know why Chef Ramsay would have told me to put gum on my nose. <laughs> right. May I have a glass of water, please? Sure, yes. Thank you. Okay. So, tell me, how's the business? We're getting by by the skin of our teeth. It's like really... No, right. we're actually not getting by. We're like in debt. Yeah, we wow. lose money every single month. Wow. We're not That's getting awesome. by. Wow. I think you said what? water, oh. Sarah, honey. Oh, shit. What? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Please. No, 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 we're a little bit too early for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Never too early. <laughs> uh, it is. Lisa loves wine. She likes to drink. OK. She likes to drink. She loves wine. She does. Uh, while she's working, have a couple of glasses. She drinks. I smoke and she drinks. I mean, since we're airing my dirty laundry, oh, I'll let her air her own. Cut that out. Don't say that she drinks. Lisa's great. I didn't think Rita needed to tell Chef Ramsay that I drink. I think he would have probably seen that tonight anyway. How's the service? Mm. Not happy with the service? Well, the servers here are very temperamental, and they sit down for hours at that table behind they there. They sit down? They don't bother checking their tables, cleaning anything. The customers would have to get up with their credit card things so they could pay. Are you kidding me? I yeah. swear to God. Wow. They get really nice customers here, and they should yeah. be getting good service. Not... Thank you for the update. Is there anything else I need to know uh, before I get going? Uh... Well, uh, the chef is my ex-husband. Say that again? I was married to him. The chef is your ex-husband. Sounds like a soap opera. Yes. So, the ex-husband. What's it like working together on a daily basis? He's a grudge. He's difficult, doesn't take criticism well. But he also he can cook. He can cook, yes. It's because these are my parents' recipes mm -hmm. that he's cooking. He has no recipes of his own? Oh, no, no, no. My dad trained him. He wasn't a trained chef. You have to understand, this is a total head I know, head we're fight. very I'm sorry. Like, no, 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 no. Sorry. My head's spinning. My head's oh. spinning. After an informative meeting with owners Lisa and Rita, Chef Ramsay is anxious to try the food. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to meet you. Made by head chef Doug, who happens to be Rita's ex-husband. He's so nice. <laughs> I like him. He's, He's so nice. Guy. nice. He's nice. Guy. He's gonna eat now. He's going to eat. Let's see if he's still nice. <laughs> He's gonna be nice. He's a nice guy. You know something? I'm starting to tremble. I don't see you tremble. I'm trembling inside. Oh, inside. How are you? I'm very good. good. I'm Sarah. Go on, please. Sarah, nice to see you, darling. Very nice to meet and you. So, how long have you been here? About two years. Two years. You know, you need to take those heels off because I can't see. They're too big. But don't stand in front of me. No, they don't see me. I arrived, they're set outside. Is that normal? It's very normal here. And Rita mentioned about Lisa drinking on service. Does she drink at the end of the night? Yes, she drinks while customers are still here. Oh, dear. The owners, they don't know how to run the restaurants, and they don't want to improve themselves to improve the restaurant. Don't talk to me. There is no organization at all. Wow. Not here, not in the kitchen, nowhere. Wow, that's not good. They have no responsibility. They have no concern. It feels like this place for them is just, oh, I'm working. You're not really working. Wow, I mean, they're, they're treating like they like, like their bar as opposed to their business. Yeah. Why is she say that? Because she's an imbecile. That's not even true. She's a traitor, Benedict Arnold. Skank. Uh, I've got to go for the homemade gnocchi. Thank you. Homemade gnocchi. Yes, please. And then a chicken marcella, please. Marcella. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll go for the veal paradiso. Okay, sure. What else? I'm really hoping he doesn't get the seafood ravioli. They're not, they're not good. We have seafood ravioli special. Oh my God. I, I, I'll, I'll take it, why not? Okay. Lisa, this bitch is selling the ravioli special. What is wrong with her? You know, I hate her. Please tell me you didn't order the raviolis. They've been complaining about the ravioli special, Sarah, all weekend. Why did you even tell them? Go ahead. It's a good that he will know about it. No, Sarah, it isn't. No. That's actually not the case, Sarah. You're a fucking freak, and that was a crazy thing to do. I'm gonna kill her. What did you order? A lot of food? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Gnocchi, chicken marsala, di paradiso, seafood ravioli. Wow. He must be very hungry. Uh, sir, we got two seconds? I am so afraid right now. Why? Because I know what's coming next. Oh, what's your first name? Pat. Pat. This for me is a new journey in life because I've always been a shoe salesman. Seriously? Not a man's shoe salesman. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, women so you're not a cobbler? Exclusively, no. Oh, I was going to say. Lisa. Right. It's Pat. Yeah, it's Pat. He's... I don't really I don't even want to deal with that. How would you rate the food? Um, the only issue is that I cannot eat Italian food because I'm gluten intolerant. So uh, what are you here? I'm a combination of everything. I'm like manager slash... Oh, so you're the manager here? Everything else. Oh, shit. Manager slash everything else. I didn't else. know that. So you're the manager of Galleria? Galleria. General manager slash uh, shoe salesman. Are you really uh, I'm also a host. You're a host? And as a bus person, I do it all. Wow. Uh, Rita. Yes. Uh, is Pat serious? General manager? He is the bus boy. You're not the general manager. I just assumed their role. Oh, you assumed the role? On the oh, shit. You just assigned that role to yourself? I just assigned that role oh, to myself. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> ah. I'm but sweating. I'm sweating. You're sweating? Yes. I'm shitting myself. I'm also <laughs> shitting myself. He? He's the he's the bus man, and I fired him. And let me explain to you oh, what he... Hold on, hold on. You fired him. I fired him. What did you fire him for? Because he told me that he was more important than me, and that he got me on a bad day, and I got upset, what? and I fired him. Seriously? So you know what he did? He got an umbrella, because it was raining that day, and he yes. got an umbrella. Yes. And he would walk by and look in like a very sad puppy. And I'm like, this poor guy. So I, I took him back. I took him back, and now I just let him tell himself he's a manager. For everything that Pat does right, he does five things wrong. Go now, go. Oh Thank my you, God. He's so fucking crazy that it's like, is it really worth even having him here? He's, but it is, I love Pat. Pat's good. He don't feed him because he's gluten free, right? He's so full of shit, he eats well, all. Look, he's like withering away. Well, he's got that great metabolism. I wish I had it, but he, we do feed him. Please don't think we don't feed the staff. No, I'm starving. <laughs> I, I, I... Okay. Okay. Enjoy. I mean, honestly, I haven't even tasted the food yet. Oh, my God. Wow. Why do you do it to me? Please, just out of my sight. Oh. Have the homemade gnocchis. Excellent. And it's all homemade? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Frozen. What? Frozen. No, come on. But they're homemade, that's why. They're homemade and frozen. Grazie mille. You're very well. Thank you. Please, a, a little smile, a little smile, anything at all. Please eat it. Stop ripping it. He shook his head. Fuck my life. Oh, no, we did a... He rubbery, bland and just really, really solid. Almost like a golf ball. Not nice. Rita. Yes. Two seconds, then. Lisa, you can come as well. Start hiding behind the coffee machine. What are you drinking? No, 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 no. No, just ask. No, 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 no. So the meatballs are, uh, like, firm, solid, and just, like, dry, bland. But they're made here. Mm -hmm. Well, we make them and then we freeze them because 
We don't want to run out of meatballs. Yeah, but they last up to two to three days in the fridge, and the difference in having them seared and cooked in the sauce rather than defrosted, the difference is night and day. OK. Uh, okay. yeah. Oh, my God. This is the beginning of the end. About 20 minutes ago, I was wondering what I, you know, what I got myself into. This is not good. I'm scared. I'm scared. With Chef Ramsay beginning to question the food, people with a rubbery fucking golf ball. Sisters Rita and Lisa are looking to Chef Doug for some answers. I'm not going so well. Get myself? The meatballs, the meatballs are frozen. Yeah, we right. make them fresh every two days. Well, yeah, we make them fresh every two days. We freeze them. They're not fresh, okay. they're frozen. I don't know in how many Italian restaurants he's been, but the restaurant that I know, they freeze stuff. What's in that cup? It's coffee, Rita. The veal paradiso. What's inside the veal? Prosciutto, mozzarella. Wow. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Please, God, make them like that at least. Really bad. Just gnarly, overcooked, bland. <gasps> Gross. What the hell does that mean? It means he didn't like it in a nutshell. How is it? That is definitely not paradise, let me tell you. Veal, way overcooked, very chewy, salty <laughs> inside. Sauce is a mess. What is it? Tomato and vodka? Vodka. Right. Disgustingly bad. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's just pray that he says his pray. nose. You're like the only prayer. I just want somebody to kill me at this point. What is he going to be eating next? Oh, yeah, seafood ravioli. That was the one thing I was hoping he wasn't going to get, like the one thing. They have the seafood ravioli. And when were they? Are these uh, fresh or? <laughs> oh, no. Frozen. Frozen. Do you think customers come to the North End? To come and eat in a restaurant with frozen raviolis? Definitely not. I won't myself. Who the fuck serves fresh ravioli? I mean, nobody serves fresh ravioli anywhere. Homemade ravioli in this neighborhood. These people don't even know how to make homemade ravioli. That's the god honest truth. I bet you if you go to the restaurant across the street and ask her, do you know how to make a homemade ravioli? She'll look at you and make you a matzo ball. She doesn't know. Wow. Disgusting. Just layers of gunk. So this is special. Actually, it's a special that we have 12 months a year. So it's a special of the year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, do I feel special. Thank you. Um, and in two years, has he ever changed it? Oh, shit. So it's a special I think, every two yeah, years. Since we have that, we never really changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse. I want Sarah strangled. You know, she's having a good time because it's not her business on the line. But I got something for her. <laughs> a special every 700 days. I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to say. Oh, man. This is too much. This is too much. I want to go die in a corner somewhere. Wow. Chicken marsala? Yes, and it's fresh. And it's fresh. Excellent. This is the side Excellent. of the city. Ooh, chicken marsala. Looks more like chicken and mushroom soup. <gasps> He's talking, he's whispering, it can't be good. If it's a whisper, it can't be good. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm hoping it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> you know, live it up, girls. There's a Michelin chef in here ripping our food apart, and you guys are giggling away, and I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Shut up, he's chewing. Oh, shit. Salty, salt and everything. Where is he? Way too sweet and just bland. No salt. Is Doug allergic to salt? I Ask don't him. think so. Uh. I don't think so. I didn't realize Chef Ramsay would be so unhappy. He's been kind of mean. You know, I take it back. I said he was nice. <laughs> And what's uh, dessert? We only have tiramisu, and we are even out of it. For real. <laughs> so you run out of desserts? Yes. Do you have tiramisu? 
shot. One dessert and you've run out. Isn't that crazy? We're out of theorem, so I didn't even know. I really didn't. Pat. Two seconds, bud. Quick. I need the manager. The restaurant Austria. Yeah, can you run over there and get me one portion of tiramisu? I am fucking starving. One portion of tiramisu? Quick. Okay. Quick as you can. Where are you going? Get a piece of tiramisu. He's on his way. There he goes. Whose idea was this? No, no this was your not idea. Not my idea. Your fucking idea. Bring him a fork. He doesn't like anything. So he's not going to like that either. Well, hello. Hi. How are you? Good nice to meet you. This is my Lena. mama. Lena, nice to see you. Excellent. I can't wait to taste that. Uh, grazie mille. Right. Excuse me, can I... Can I just quickly say hello to mum again? Come on, mum. Go you're going to get yelled at. I'm yes, so sir. scared. Oh, God. Mama. First, I need to do something. Bellissimo. Oh, my God. Oh, delicious. Oh, my God. He likes no, mom. Thank God. Thank he likes so something. Much. I mean, amazing. Whose recipe is that? Your recipe? Really good. Really good indeed. We got a winner from Losteria. What the hell was that? What happened? God. With Chef Ramsay horrified by the food. What the hell? Lisa and Rita's day is not exactly heading in a positive direction. Oh, the fridge broke. I don't even want to say what else could go wrong because God might answer me. And it's unlikely to get any better as Chef Ramsay meets head chef Doug. How are you? Good way. First name? Douglas. Douglas, let's have a chat with the owners. Just stand next to your uh, wife. Ex. Uh, ex, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, first of all, how long have you been cooking? Mm, since 94. 94. And you're the head chef, if we can call it that. You're leading the kitchen, let's get it that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, okay. So when the they let me anyway. Who's they? Who's they? Yeah, I, but he certainly doesn't mean me, because I don't hold you back to do anything. Who in the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I'd really like to know. I know you're not looking at me. But some things that I want to do my way, you know, is always like... In other words, he wants full yeah, control. I'm going to be in the kitchen, and I want full control. But you do have, but you full, have control. full control. Let's Nobody bothers you. Work. Listen, I want to go back to the food. This man is taking time out of his schedule to be yeah, here. I want to talk about frozen meatballs. Oh, okay. Okay. Who's running the kitchen? I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about lunch, yeah? The food was dated, bland, boring, and way below par in one of the most competitive streets anywhere in this country. When was the last time you went out for dinner in the neighborhood? I don't know. He doesn't eat Italian. I just go to Chinese food sometimes. Chinese food. <sighs> OK. What about the meatball? The meatball? We make it and then... Freeze them. Freeze them, yeah. And the real paradise, way overcooked, just drowned in sauce. Doug, customers cook better at home. The food was shocking. And just no seasoning, no care. Honestly, you're not giving your best. The homemade gnocchi. It's not homemade, right? Well, I know how to make it. I used to make it every day. Ravioli. I used to make those too, but you know there's a pain in the neck. I need somebody with extra time to help me. Doug, yeah. I would be willing to help you make pasta. Yeah, please. I like to make pasta. Yeah, whatever. Dude, that's, that's, See, that's the that's attitude. It's very, he, he doesn't respond to much. What do you mean, doesn't respond? He just, you know. We're running a business. I know. Wow. And what is it between you two? Why is there such animosity there? He's just, that's just him. That's just him. Are you lazy? No, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is you've just gone through the motions. No, I'm not. You are. You're not making anything fresh. You have turned the restaurants into something dysfunctional, just for convenience. You knew I was coming today, right? Yeah, I knew. So why couldn't you cook for me from the heart? 
because if I'm gonna treat you special, then I gotta treat everybody special. So you feel better serving me frozen shit than you cooking your best? I, I just being honest. Let me ask you this. How can a seafood ravioli be special if it's frozen and it's been on the menu as a special for two years? Well, we get it frozen. What's so fucking special about that? You've only got one dessert on, and even that ran out a week ago. We do have. Where is it, then? Um, no. We don't. We don't. don't. Well, you don't know? Do you guys communicate? I mean, help me. No, I know, I know. But there's really not much that, I mean, you can't even get through to him, so how am I supposed to? You're the owner. I know. You think this restaurant has a future serving frozen meatballs? Not only was my lunch bland, disappointing, but whatever little customers you've got now, I'm amazed they're in here. Tonight, I want to see this place function. I want to see how you operate, what you do. I want to see how you run the line. OK. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Thank you. You're fucking dead. Oh, my god. He's left the building. That was really, really hard. Stop looking at me, Pat, because this is your fault. It would have been easier to have been hung by the roof by my toenails. Oh, God. Well, I don't have any respect. You could make some pasta. No, I can't. And get rid of those seafood ravioli. I want them out of here. OK. I hate you. This was your idea. No, this was definitely your idea. No, this was definitely your idea. It wasn't your idea. Yeah. No, it wasn't. I'm going to go smoke. Crazy, you are fired. Rita, tell him to chill out, because I'm leaving tonight if you fuck with me. I'm really leaving. Ramsey. Now, I'm not calling him chef. I'm calling him Ramsey, and that's what I'm calling him. Mr. Ramsey, at least. Call him Mr. Ramsey. Listen, respect he deserves. He's coming! Fuck my life. He's already shit on the food. Like, I'm waiting for him to see us run the front of the house and yell at us about that. Doug, uh, tiramisu on? No. Can't be bothered? Nope. No, can't be bothered. Wow. Anyway, uh, so take me through the uh, line. Who's running what station? Well, we usually don't work in stations. You don't work on stations either. Holy shit, it's getting worse. Oh, my god. Every Saturday night, Boston's North End is packed. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, honey? And as a result, it's the one night that La Galleria 33 is filled with customers. My name is Sarah, and I'm going to be your server for tonight. Um, I'm going to be sausage cacciatore. Give me veal francesca. Veal francesca? Sure. Oh, my god, my nerves. Sir, whenever it's ready, we can take table one. Doug, who, uh, who talks to who? Who communicates there? Anybody? <laughs> Doug, who communicates here? Um, I don't. No. I will. I do, but I can't hear anything. Who, yeah. Who's who's? Uh... When things are ready, we just put them over there. And... Oh, so there's no, there's no, there's no timing. When that's ready, we. I said this. Sure. That's ready. Chicken Alfredo, chicken Galleria. Yeah, coming. Well. You just dropped that on the floor. Look at me. You just dropped it on the floor. Yeah. You can't cook it. Yeah. You just dropped it on the floor. I know. Uh, Rita, Lisa, uh, both of you, just two seconds. Sorry, this is sending me crazy. Hello, what? You just dropped the chicken on the floor and put it back in the pan. Mm. This one here. Come on, guys. Serious, Doug? Wait a minute. He dropped it on the floor and cooked it? What, what do you mean? Am I on my own here or what? No, you're not. That's crazy. Could you start that again or not? What? Can you start that again? It's not here. It's there. No, I say this is not. That's the one that dropped on the floor. It's OK. It's good enough to eat it. I'm not here to make you look stupid. But wait, I stop a chef from serving fucking chicken he dropped on the floor. I mean, honestly? You guys look like a bunch of fucking idiots. This is fucking crazy. It's only minutes into a busy Saturday night dinner service, and Chef Ramsay has already observed just how low the standards are at Galleria 33. 
He just dropped the chicken on the floor and put it back in the pan. Honestly, you guys look like a bunch of fucking idiots. Wait a minute. This one here. Why would you cook a fucking piece of chicken that you dropped on the floor? Like, you know, it makes me question his... Not his intelligence, but I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, his intelligence. Fuck you now. Normally, you would never cook something that fell on the floor. Why would you have done that? He's gonna think you're crazy. Throw it out. Yeah, throw okay. it out. I don't think he's serving that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what if he I does. Say, it's disgusting, but it's not What you wiping his ass? I'm not, but I don't want to be betrayed as a restaurant who serves chicken that's been I tried to stop him from doing it. I don't know. He's nuts. It fell on the floor. Yes, he's nuts. He I picked it up and dusted it. Yeah, I get it, but he's not going to serve it. I'm not it. looking for this stuff. I walked right into it. I'm standing by side watching the line work. But he started a new one, as you can see. Oh, fuck me. I would like to know when Douglas has ever picked something off the floor. Never. Like, ever, ever, ever. Like, why would he have done that? Like, did he purposely do that? While Doug continues to work in silence, food still manages to get out to the diners. Chicken pot, chicken pot. And the ravioli was for you. It looks disgusting. But the customers are anything but reserved when expressing how they feel about his dishes. How's the appetizer taste for you? Awful. It's really not very good. It's not fresh. I can try to send one of the owners over this way if you would like. Yes, please. Absolutely. Lisa, they wanted to speak to someone. Who? Uh, the four top over there, the okay. one that's... I don't want to hear a complaint. Okay. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Send Rita. I don't like dealing with angry, irate people. I usually just... For them to read it. Uh, the four top over there, they'd like to speak to one of the owners. Oh, yeah, send Lisa. I'm I tried, busy. she said no. But I'm not going anywhere. Lisa should deal with complaints because I don't handle that well. I would rather just not deal. The owners may have decided not to deal with disgruntled customers. It's all burnt. But that doesn't stop the complaints from coming. How is it? Going? Yeah, not really good. Really? Very charcoaly. People are complaining about the food. Lisa or Rita will not talk to the customers. Then they get so pissed about it. But it's very usual for me. It's not like this is the first time I see it. This is supposed to be oh, medium no. rare. It's well done. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks like a bonfire. Rita, when you see a bone that is thicker than the actual eye of the meat, it's like a dog chew. My food is good. I still think it's good. How are you going to get it to be medium rare? That's the question. I mean, why is it such a defense mechanism? Well, because even the customers complaining, when they're right, I'll take it. What I can't take is the garbage. Wow. How's everything here? This is cold. It's cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Yeah, Come over. Eggplant ravioli. It was a little cold. He was complaining about this. Cold? No, this one's actually hot in the middle. What's wrong? They said it's cold in the middle. I stuck my finger in it. It's hot in the middle. It's, 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 it's not warm. It's still hot. He tells me it's not, but it is. That's cold. No, it's That's not. Cold. The way I am, like, I, I'm going to go over there and tell the lady, like, stick your finger in the ravioli and tell me it's cold now. I'm, like, ready to stab somebody. Whose ravioli was this? It's a table of five, the four top. Hi, who had these ravioli? I'm so sorry. Hello. Were these yours? All of these ravioli? They weren't cold, so I was just wondering... I don't know what the one is. that I bit into was cold. Oh, no, no, this is definitely your plate. I yes. took it right from the waiter. Yeah, I know it's my And plate. I stuck my finger. The one that she handed to me to eat was cold. They're all hot, so I'm just curious they what it was. By that time, they weren't was, hot to know. us. So they were cold when they got here, and they got hot when they came back. Just, I'm just curious. I'm trying to understand why. Uh, it seemed like you're okay. kind of not happy with me. It's not that I'm not happy. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. And, I, and they're all hot, so I'm just wondering. Oh, my God. Rita, to me, I was very, very unprofessional. The customers is always right. So when he complains, I want to give the best to them. Uh, my apologies. You've got every right to complain. I think somebody's forgotten the customers are king, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you. This is right. fucking ridiculous. All right, well, let's see how many more complaints we can go on. I think you're overreacting. I mean, as owners, uh, can anything bounce off you and get on with it? Or I'm, I'm still here, so no, no, I'm clearly no, no. Barely, my skin is thicker than barely, that. Barely, barely, barely. I feel like I'm in like a sea of devils. I feel like he brought this upon us. I thought you were gonna come in here and help us, and like, everybody's complaining. What do you want me to do? I mean, you're asking me to stop the complaints? You sound like a petulant teenager. How so? I, fuck, he's just on the defense. 
We love the food here and we think it's good. I'm going to disagree because the food's not good. I don't think my food's bad. Am I in denial? I don't think I am, but I keep saying that my food is good, so that's like a sign of somebody being in denial. Ladies, welcome. How's that, my darling? You're very fishy, especially the muscles. Yeah, it's not very fresh. No. Let me just check. What has happened to the chef? He's in the kitchen. Do you want to see what he's doing? Wow, gets worse. They're all open. Dead, dirty muscles. Douglas, Rita. I'm sorry, what's the same? They're all, they're all open. They're all open. And they're not clean, they're dead. Lisa, muscles are dirty. More importantly, they're all open. What does an open muscle mean? It's dead. It's dead, yeah. But why are they in here, then? We don't use the ones that are open when we don't use them. So where are the dead ones going? In the trash? The garbage. Yeah, I know they're going, but when? Chef Ramsay's really negative and critical. It's pissing me off. I want him to get the fuck out. Let me tell you something. Get rid of the dead muscles before you kill somebody. Oh, my God. It's two hours into dinner service, and Chef Ramsay has now confirmed the main problem here at La Galleria 33. Owners Rita and Lisa are in denial. We love the food here, and we think it's good. The food's not good. And to make matters worse, head chef Doug's practices in the kitchen are completely careless. Dead, dirty muscles will fucking kill somebody. So Chef Ramsay wants to take a closer look at what is lurking below at La Galleria 33. Rotten, gooey as shit. When the fresh onions come in, you think they get rid of the old ones. So he's downstairs? Is he playing around with that one? I have no idea. Rotten. I want to show them more rotten shit. I want to show you something quickly. You always know a chef inside out when you look at his fridge. OK. What's happened over here over the last three months is they've been using onions, peeling them in here and leaving all the bits of shit in there. 90% of them soft as shit. Oh, pure. Oh, yeah. Hello. Have you any idea how long it takes for an onion to go that rotten? No. About two months. I said to you earlier, I sense that there's a lazy stream running through this restaurant. I'm questioning Doug. I feel like I've trusted too much that he would do the right thing without watching. Oh, Jesus. Wow. So this one's just packed with frozen pasta. What the fuck are they? Those are porcini ravioli. Oh, my God. Porcini, wow. A frozen ravioli is not horrendous. It's not. Like, I've, I've eaten frozen raviolis. It's not, it's not that bad. What are those? Those are cannelloni. Cannelloni? Yes. You are kidding me. And who puts them together? Douglas. And when's it from? I don't know. Cannelloni, flat as a crate. Is this what your father was teaching him? No. Oh, my God. What are they? The frozen meatballs. That you oh, they're the frozen meatballs? Yeah, with the frosting. Wow. I don't think you two should be running a restaurant. Why? Because I don't think you give a fuck. No, we do. We totally I swear to God, no, no, we do. I, I, honestly, if you're cooking at home tomorrow for your family, I can guarantee you'll be cooking better food at home than you'll be serving your restaurant. And what's shocked me so far since I've been here, no one has any pride in what they're doing, what they're saying, and you should not be running a business. He's trying to point out all our flaws, and he's being ultra critical about everything. We're dead. Don't call me tomorrow, I'm not coming in. I'm sick of hearing it. Get out of here. You must be. I'm I'm not. Not. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I can't do that. We don't. We all know. No, I can't. I've had enough. Just over the whole thing. I just want to run away. I'm out. I can't do this. It's humiliating. All right, I'll have him just do the yelling to me. No, it's not that, Rita. Douglas is dropping chicken on the floor. People complaining. It's a bunch of bullshit. I, di I didn't sign up for this. I'm not doing this. I'm just not fucking doing it. It's ridiculous. A douchebag. He doesn't want to help us. I don't think we should call Chef Ramsay a douchebag. He doesn't care. His eyes are on us. They His are. eyes are on us? Yes. His eyes are on us. I don't know what you're talking about. Rita's riding this wave of like, yeah, Chef Ramsay's right. I mean, I'm happy that she thinks this was all worth it. I'm out of here. I'll do it by myself. Where's Lisa? She left. She's leaving. Lisa, you go, I'm going. I I'm didn't going. sign I up for this. Well, I, I don't give a fuck when you sign. Let me, let, let me tell you something. You walk this. out, I'm out. Straight up. OK. I've had enough. I want him to get the fuck out of here. I want him to leave. He's in my space. 
none of you give a shit here. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I care. I you care. care? Yeah, I do. What, by wiping the ass of the chef like that, he dropped a chicken on the listen, floor. Listen. He picked it back yep, up and started cooking that. it. I get that. But you're just but making we're excuses not for it. That. No, I don't give a fuck. If about I didn't him. see I don't it, like him. if I didn't see it, we're fucking serving it. No, he would not have. Are you deluded? No, I'm not deluded. We How do you know serve. you would have served it? I know we would. So why was he cooking it then? What the fuck do I know? He's nuts. Then you turn that off. I'm going as well. You go. I go. Okay. Long Beach, California, an oceanside community located 20 miles south of Los Angeles. Nestled in the heart of this vibrant city is Nino's, a family-run restaurant opened in 1958 by immigrants Inga and Vincenzo. When we got to America, Vincenzo wanted to open a restaurant, and that was his dream. How are you doing tonight? Very well, yourself? Welcome to Nino's. I ran the outside, he ran the kitchen. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun, too. We had a great time. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. My dad ran a restaurant with an iron fist, and we were the best that you could be. <laughs> it's hard now because he's 88. He's on the onset of dementia, and uh, in the last several years has separated himself from the restaurant. Who's taking table 11? I have no idea. Do you have table 11? Ever since my dad retired, my brother Nino is supposed to be the restaurant manager. All I can say is, he's the worst employee here. He loves to run up the tables and go, hi, I'm Nino. Thinks he owns this place, and he's because his name Nino's. However, my dad has told him, Jack in the Box, the owner no be named Jack. Pick up table six, please. I'm really quite tired. I didn't sleep last night. Terrific, thank you. Nino works here, we pay him, but basically he does very little. He sits in the office and watches TV. If he wouldn't be our son, he wouldn't be working here. How's table 11 coming along? They're almost ready. Because my brother sits around a lot and doesn't do anything, my sister Karina and I have helped throughout the years substantially. We found a hand in that food. And you must have put it there. No, I have red, dude. I don't have any hair. You know, you're making it worse. They're liars. No, they're not. My brother is 60 years old, and he acts like he's 12. That was inappropriate, what you just did. This is my parents' legacy, and he's going to run this restaurant into the ground. You're a lying sack of shit! I got a brother and sister that they think they got better ideas. My brother and sister asked Chef Ramsey to come without consulting me, and I have an ill feeling about it. We are we so leaving. Forever. And you can see that detached from reality, that he doesn't see how much mom is suffering. They're freaking liars. This is a woman who always pays her bills on time, and she's having to take money out of the retirement to pay for this restaurant, to keep it going. I made a promise to my husband, Vincenzo, that I would keep this restaurant going, but some night you have 10, 12 people coming. That doesn't do it. The last thing I want to do is close the doors. We put a lot of love. <laughs> we put a lot of love in this place. <laughs> Nino's Italian restaurant, which is owned by one family for 54 years. And in the restaurant business, that is unbelievable. Sadly, things have gone horribly wrong over the last couple of years. I'm about to find out why. Oh, God. Well, I feel like I'm back in 1958. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very nice to see you. My name is Inge. Inge, I'm not very Italian. No, I'm from Germany. From Germany? My husband is the Italian. I see. Your husband's Nino. Nino is actually the son. So there's you and your son, all running the business. And uh, Karina and Mike, they're also right. my kids, and they are here right. many times. And how about your husband? He's kind of retired. It'd be nice to meet the family. Can we get everybody together oh, and sure. have a chat? Everybody for a catch -up? is in the bag. There's Mike. This is the baby, right? 
No, no Karina is the baby. Oh, you're the baby. Hi, I'm Karina. Nice to meet you. Likewise. And this is I'm Nino. Nino, good Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. So you're the oldest. Yes, I am. I'm the one that's going to be 60 pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to catch up with all of you now. Let's okay. go in somewhere a bit quieter. Sorry. My brother Nino tells everybody how hard he works and that he runs this restaurant. I I'm sorry, Nino. He's not going to swallow your BS for one second. So how good is the food? How would you rate it out of 10, Nina? 10. A 10? Wow. Yes. Karina? I would have to rate it as a 7. So, Michael, what would you give the food? I would give it an 8. So the food's good. That's great. And what's your role? I really don't work here all the time. I have my own career. Right. As my sister does. Uh, I help out whenever my mom calls. I'm Johnny on the spot. Nina, the restaurant's named after you. What's your role? The, the person that's always been in charge was my dad. And then when, when he developed his Alzheimer's, I stepped up in this business. Wow. What do you mean? I, I get here early. I, I do uh, the remedial things as janitorial, Good. vacuuming, cleaning of all these plates, and cleaning the restrooms, scrubbing the toilets, washing the patio. That's just from 8 until about 4, maybe. Weekends, usually, I'll come in for uh, extensive cleaning. Sounds like you do a lot of cleaning. Cleaning? What are you talking about? The restaurant is a mess. <laughs> Take away the cleaning, what else do you do? Karina, um, help me out. There's no key person. There's no one really directing the kitchen on how the portion should be, how the quality needs to be consistent. You know, you need to be working in the kitchen. When I worked here, I, and Mike worked here, we jumped in the kitchen. They don't want me in there. Who? The chefs. The chefs? They're very adamant about uh, uh, keeping that kitchen to themselves. It sounds like you put over a barrel now. It's like everybody's kind of running the restaurant. I thought Nino was running it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, no. That's not true. But Nino's here. But Nino isn't here. He's here at lunch. So he doesn't run dinner. Are you here for dinner? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not here. Lunch and dinner. It's something my mom and I are constantly frustrated with. Nino's doing everything half-assed. And so Mike and I have to come in, help the family. Wow, I mean, it <sighs> doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. He irritates the crap out of me. He spends a lot of time sitting down with customers. I mean, not just visiting, promoting the business, sitting down and talking for long periods of time in the middle of lunch. And he's the only restaurant manager I think you'll find anywhere that has lunch at lunchtime. He spends a lot of time in the office watching TV. This is not even true. He's not it's here not at eight, He's not here at 8 in the morning when I get here. Why would I come here at 8 That's in the morning? That's a fantasy. I watch TV. The television here is 40 years old, and I have uh, high def at home with all the all the channels I need. Why wouldn't I just stay there? So I get here at 8. Tell people you're working. Because nobody's here, so you can say whatever you're doing, right? Stretching the truth. It is not. <laughs> My brother never tells the truth. <laughs> So Coming a, from a pathological liar, I take I, that as a compliment. He <laughs> thinks I'm, I'm some kind of nut because I, I, I'm in a recovery program. It has nothing, to do, not, that. It has nothing I, to do with that. You're just he, a liar. He thinks we're all a, living in a fantasy world, according I to him. No, I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. My honest feeling it is he doesn't do crap here. He does a lot of things. I'm talking. He makes everybody believe he does crap. Just like last night, he ran up to every table and said, Hello, my name's Nino. That's not true. Nino, please. Would you let me talk? Mr. O was talking. I see that all the time. And that's why I kind of stay back from here, because I love this damn restaurant. And to see it just being run down drives me freaking crazy. To my opinion, he doesn't do crap. My mom will admit it. My dad will admit it. My sister will admit it but I will come out and say it passionately. Doesn't do crap. While the family and Nino are in complete disagreement over his effectiveness as a manager. Thank you. Thank you. They were all in agreement that the food at Nino's is good. How are you? Hi, good, how are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Are those brothers always butting heads like that? Are they always arguing? Yes, they are. Wow. Um, is that a spelling mistake on there? Egg, plant, as in two separate words? Yeah. It is. Shouldn't they be sort of joined? Yes. And I noticed this one as well down here. One meat ball. <laughs> do they not know they're going to be like, it's one word, meat ball? <laughs> Honestly. Um, do you know what? I'll go for one meat ball, okay. uh, one egg plant, and okay. chicken counter. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Excellent. Michael, um, listen. 
Yeah, um, I, I appreciate your honesty. And I know it's hard, but well, I, I feel like someone's blown smoke on my ass. My brother's full of shit. I'd be surprised if he worked two hours a day. And that, I, that's pushing it. Would you not feel guilty of your mum working twice as hard as you? Yeah, she'd be day and night. That's what I'm saying. Why is he not here helping her? He doesn't have another job. He complains about not having money, not taking a vacation. Either come here at night or get another job. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, Gordon. You sure? I just ask before you make any judgments. I'm not making any judgments on you at all. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm listening. Nobody's here at eight in the morning when I'm here, and 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 there is there is a job that's endeavoring. I mean, all the way, you know. And I, I get back behind here, you know. I get underneath there. I get the plates. I get up there, and, and um, it doesn't take that long. It it takes about an just, hour or so. My knees and just then I, I start doing stuck. the prep work. It's it just a, what is that? It's just stuck to my jeans. Oh, oh my gosh. So have a look at that under there. Oh my gosh. How many bits of gum are there? There is uh, four pieces of gum. So you do all this cleaning. I haven't looked down there. I don't think you should do that during the business hours in front what of customers. Time, what time would you like me to do it? Uh, come here at 8 in the morning with me. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be there with you tomorrow morning? And I wouldn't do that in your restaurant either. Oh, you wouldn't find gum under my tables. <laughs> Nino is a ball of excuses. He's just wacko. God, this full of cobwebs. Bloody hell. Didn't get to that one. Bloody hell. Definitely didn't get to that one. Everybody else was done, right? Yeah. Right. Have you seen the size of that cobweb there? Have you seen that? That's dust. That, no, that's the cobweb. Didn't see it without the lighting. Really? Yeah. Oh. God, how often do you clean every day? I, you know, this is something that, that takes a lot of consideration. I, I, you know, you can be on this here for months. I start at one end and then finish at the other end and then I come back. On this one? Oh, God. This is the eight in the morning effect. Five days a week for years. Bloody hell, is there a bathroom nearby? Just quickly wash my hands? Yes, sir. He should have shut up about cleaning. I don't know what he's cleaning, but I wouldn't hire him at my house, I promise you that. Oh, what are the pictures of? These are me cleaning and pulling down all the all the bottles, every single bottle. I, I've never seen pictures of cleaning. That's a first for me. Well, that's because my brother's always yeah. questioning that I do it. I don't know in the first place why he took pictures. If it's clean, you don't have to prove it as pictures. You see it, right? <laughs> this is a chicken piccata. It's a lemon with capers and mushrooms. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. How do you like this one? Dreadful. No? Chicken's all flowery, slimy. Okay. Come over, Nina. So I just had to make them. Just, just, just touch, touch that, it's all easy. I, I, I'm not going to touch it with my finger. No, it's all, what I'm trying to say is all soggy and flowery, so it's... Well, I mean, I'll do something like that in the kitchen, but not in the dining area. That wouldn't be appropriate. Well, I wouldn't touch food. Listen, listen. You're sitting on a table full of gum. I've got cobwebs coming out of my earlobes, and now I'm asking you to touch something flowery. And you say, I wouldn't do this in the dining room. All of a sudden, you've got this level of concern. Yes, I do, because that's food. Right there, and you want me to touch it. This is food that you've given 10 out what of am I 10. Supposed to, what am I supposed to I want you to be honest with yourself and stop fucking around. I'm not fucking do. around. Ready to get real. The chicken is slimy and furry. It's got raw flour on the outside. You refuse to accept it because you're in the land of yeah. nod. <laughs> Chef Ramsay is sounding like an ass. Too much flour and it has no flavor and it's a very delicate chicken and it's delicious. He said the piccata was disgusting. This guy is disgusting. Oh, and that's my one meatball. This is your one meatball. I says, thank you. That tastes 54 years old. Mush, disgusting and just dreadful. Nino, come on. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad. The meatball, soggy, bland, and just hideous with a salty marinara sauce. It's a matter of taste. Say that again? It's a matter of taste. That's not a matter of taste. When was that made? Two days ago. Really? I saw him make it. Right. Can you have a word with the chef? I know you're scared of them, but ask I'm him. I'm not scared of them, and I'm not scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? 
I'm not a, I'm not a person that's scared, so don't use that word, please. I ask oh, you to today. step up, take some form of responsibility, and go in there and ask him. So, are you going to let me continue eat, or do you want to? What do you want to fight? Like confrontation? If we're talking about something physical. Can you, no. Can you leave me alone? Let me finish my lunch. Yes, I will. And if you find the balls to go and ask your chef when he made the meatballs, it'd be greatly appreciative. By the way, there's dirty bottles above the fish tank. Wow. Valentina, when did you make those meatballs? That's how you eat. That's unbelievable. Friday. I find that hard to believe. Because today is Tuesday. That couldn't be. That couldn't possibly be. <sighs> thank you. And this is the... Uh... This is the eggplant? Wow. Thank you very much. You're good. He made them this weekend, on Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. We've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No. <laughs> I'm not. Bullshitting me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working here eight hours a day cleaning, telling me that food mm -hmm. is great, people love it. I am shitting myself. But the then chef, you need to wear diapers. The... You shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're just trying to act like a fucking idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better. I'm not a fucking idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You used the word fucking, yeah, so I brought I it just... back to you. Okay. I think that's right. that's kind of gross. We need to calm right. down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it. And I'm, I'm staring at it as well. To be honest, I really don't know what's in Nino's head. Are we done? It's almost like he's completely mentally unstable. I'd like to have a quick catch up with you, Mum, Karina, and your brother. OK. Let's, uh, let's go next door. Um, I'm lost for words. Honestly, I'm depressed. Dish after dish was a disappointment. And then you rate the food. 10 out of 10, perfect. It's the best of time food I've ever had. I have a lot of friends that come here and eat. Your circle of friends isn't keeping the business afloat. Let's get that right. And let me tell you something. The chicken piccati. Chicken was furry and slimy. The meatball we discovered was made five freaking days ago. But for some bizarre reason, you're convincing yourself that everything's fine. <laughs> what you have proven to me is that you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything except cleaning. For the first 40 minutes of meeting you, all you told me about was the cleaning. You're in denial. You're refusing to listen to the negative feedback regarding the food, and yet you've got pictures of yourself cleaning the place. Hello? I didn't take those pictures. You were happy to show them to me. Well, you, you, you were indicating that I don't do anything. Cleaning is basic, like drinking water and breathing air. And that is not management. Nina, there's the lady there that's got all the weight on her shoulders. And I don't know when you're thinking of getting responsible, but let me give you some piece of advice. Hurry up, will you? <laughs> um, I'm just saddened, I think, really, because it doesn't even feel like it's family run. Um, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm sorry. I really got the sense that he came in here and I'm his target. He's 100% right. You're the biggest problem here, and if mom could initiate your early retirement, it would be the best thing. Okay. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest about this. I can't stand seeing this place run like crap. This, this fighting fight. has to stop. Okay, well, then I can't come because I can't stand watching it. It's not Maybe just... you're taking nerve pills or okay. something. I don't know. I can't take it. I don't it. take nerve pills. Okay, but I Never. can't take it. Why are you yelling at your mother? Because you're saying the fighting, like, like I come in here just to fight. No. I come in here, you two fighting. You need to talk. You yes. need to talk. So Maybe we stop saying the you word fighting. We're just a couple cats and dogs. We, That's what it sounds like to me. Chef Ramsey, he said, this is not a family. And I know it's not a family. OK. Ciao, arrivederci. Chef Ramsey has quickly identified the two biggest problems of the restaurant, Nino and the food. But he's about to learn a whole lot more. 
as he watches how this kitchen functions during a dinner service. What, uh, what is that? Lasagna. That's lasagna. Well, if that's a lasagna, then I'm the Pope. Jesus. When was it made? Last Friday, no? Last Friday. Wow. It's really weird. Very weird indeed. Oh, man. What is that? This is chicken. I thought it was lard. It's not, it's chicken. Wow. It's all dry. Bloody hell. Can you get me Nina, please? <sighs> Nina. That's chicken. Yeah, can I have a little taste? Just all right, all right, all right. It's dry, bland, and it's just been reheated now for your pasta dishes. Yeah, sure. I like the taste. That is not the way to cook. Right. I believe Chef Ramsay may have exaggerated. It almost sounded like it was unsalvageable. Throw that away, please, yeah? I don't even want that saved for a dog. OK. You have the cauliflower pancakes? This is yours. As the dishes leave the kitchen reasonably quick, complaints from customers are almost immediate. Look at this, though. Like, this is supposed to be the breading, I think. This is no good. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm going to send this back. Sure, let me take it. I'm sorry for that. Let me take it. Way too much grease. Oh, no. What's wrong with that? Oh, Jesus Christ. You are kidding me. What is that? Come on, guys. This is an example of Nino not knowing how to manage this restaurant. He should be in the kitchen making sure that our food quality is consistent. OK, where's Nino? Help me the yeah. kitchen. That's what you need to do. I haven't eaten anything all day. Are you kidding me? eating dinner with my mom and dad out front. We should be working, but... Yeah. If he had the initiative, the assertiveness to take over, we wouldn't be in this situation. OK, so Nino just continually stands there. And that's the frustrating thing right now, because I look, and he's like in my right peripheral at all times. And you've got your poor 78-year-old mother standing out the front, yes, clinging on. Look at the mess in here. Oh, mushrooms and... My god. Are they the meatballs? Yeah. When are they from? Uh, Friday. Friday. These are from Friday as well? Uh-huh. Look at it. How old is that to go that colour? You know, I have a feeling if I ask somebody, they'd say, no doubt, from Friday. When was it made? How old is that? It's uh, from Friday. Friday again. Busy day, Friday. Have you seen inside your refrigeration? Yes, absolutely. We actually do a full, full, thorough cleaning every night. Have you got two minutes? Yes, sir. Just look down there, the back there. Yeah, there's some product on the ground. Uh, so what on the ground? Mushrooms. Yeah, there is. And have you any idea? No, this is this is here. This is just left there. My God, what's that? Pepper. You've been serving this all night. It's not even scaled. You're the man that gave me 10 out of 10. Come on, then. Right. I don't know what to say. While Nino says he takes great pride in the cleanliness of the restaurant, what's this? Chef Ramsay discovers another horror story in the walk in. That is rancid. How long does a red pepper take before it goes that rotten? Just smell that. It can go fast. It can what? It can go faster than you expect. How would you feel if your customers saw that? That's what I'm trying to say to you. All right. That w I mean, I'm sorry it's there, but we wouldn't take that and, and serve it to somebody. No, but what and I'm trying to say is that signifies how this whole business is run. I'll give them on that refrigerator. I'm horribly disappointed about it, but uh, it's impossible to do everything properly.
you're not doing your job to the best of the ability that's necessary to run this business. If you want to say that, that's, I'm, I'm sure that's your prerogative. It's not my prerogative, I'm watching it. I'm watching you doing it by the minutes. I, I don't have the authority to assert myself. And you when I ask do, somebody, you know. They, you do. You just friends. never have. Your mum wants you to step up. I'm so confused. She wants you to do it. Uh, You're nearly 60. Is that true, what you just told me? He has no power, because you won't let him. That's not true. That's not the way it is, Nino. Why do you tell stories like that? How many times have I gone in there and tried to, to, to when assert is myself? It, when is it two or three years ago, I had to go to hospital. You were completely out drunk. I, I had a relapse yeah. and ended up in the hospital. What I saw was so disgusting. I had to hold him down in the emergency room. You know, they had to put him in the in restraints. And I made a bad decision. She still has a resentment about it, and I don't know what I can do about it. Do me a favor. Yeah. I need to spend two minutes with your mother now. All right. Yeah. I feel for you. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. He almost died. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you holding it against him? Or is it down to the actual work and commitment? I it's think it's the work and commitment. Is he lazy? What is it? Yeah. I am here to help you. You must understand that. Yeah, yeah. Can we meet first thing tomorrow morning? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. As Chef Ramsay has made a commitment to Inga to help save the restaurant. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. He knows his next step is to make sure that Nino is committed to changing his ways. So this morning, he fills Inga in on his plan. Right now, Nino thinks every day that this restaurant's not going to close because you're going to continue funding it. Mm -hmm. If he starts to understand that you've had enough, that may wake this guy up. Mm -hmm. So here's the plan. I'm going to board up the whole front of this restaurant. So it looks like the business is closed. I'll be hiding around the corner, and I'll be around there, and I want to hear what he has to say to his mother when you say, I'm shutting it down. It's about him showing you hunger. What he can do, that what he, he can, can do. do it. Exactly that. You with me? Yeah. Perfect. this morning and I decided to close that business. I cannot do it anymore. It doesn't work. Is that what you think? Yeah. All right. Fine. Jesus Christ. Is that all you have to say? Well, Mom, it's your restaurant. You're the one that has a decision on this. But I think we should stay, keep it open. That's my personal opinion. I, I, I don't want to give up. I know we can hold out and do it. I cannot put any more money in this place. I'm willing to fight to keep this restaurant open. Do you have some suggestion how we can do that? We have an expert in the restaurant business. We can ask him. You really want to do it? Yes, absolutely. Hi. <laughs> Chef Ramsey, hi, how you doing? So, 54 years in the making, mm -hmm. and the business is on the brink of closure. You're part of that failure. Yeah. Do you understand what that means? Yes, I do, Chef. It's got to come from you, Nino. I'm willing to commit. Take control, Nino. I shall. No more excuses, just be on top of everything. I'm willing, Mom. The business is going to have to become a new priority. Number one. Number one. 
At this point, I believe Nino really wants to turn his life around and he wants to do what's best for the restaurant and the family. While Nino says he's committed to change, How are you doing? Chef Ramsay feels it's important that he shares this news with his brother and his sister. Okay. The lack of commitment with Nino has been going on for far too long. And your mother stepped up and told him, I've had enough. And Nino, to his credit, turned around and said, Mum, I want to do this. I'm committed. Yes. I don't believe that. You know, you've been in denial for a long time what your responsibilities have been. You made so many promises to all of us over your life, and this time you need to be in charge. He's committed to that this morning, and this is the new Nino. Maybe for three, four weeks, but then he'll revert back to the old Nino. I, I'm asking, let's get out of the past. What is it we can do from this point to move forward and treat each other with decency and walk away sh shaking each other's hands? Okay, no more excuses, no more denial. I need you to be the big brother that you're supposed to be to this family. I'm gonna be much more focused on doing things that make the business more successful, and, and that's the truth. Michael, let's go for it. Thank you. I am willing to give Nino another chance. For God's sake, he's my brother. I believe he can change, but I'm not gonna make any bets on it. Now that Nino is willing to take the reins and the family is ready to move forward, Chef Ramsay gives this restaurant its first facelift in over half a century. Good morning. Good morning. Good Chef morning. Ramsay. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. Very. A lot, a lot. Right. Take off your blindfolds. Oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. This is so wow. incredible. It's unbelievable. Are we in Nino's? I know there's a sign that says Nino's. <laughs> Welcome to the new Nino's. I love the light. I love it. 50 oh my God. years in the making. <laughs> we got rid of the drab brown color and we lighted the walls up. Yes? Thank God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gone are the Chianti bottles cluttering the ceiling and gathering dust. Now, we have brand new light fixtures made from old apple baskets. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it's hot. <laughs> I'm speechless seeing all of this. It's very crisp and clean looking. Welcome. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. Oh my God. I love this. First of all, we have decluttered this room. Yeah. <laughs> painted it fresh. And these beauties here are handmade family tables. Oh, oh they're wow. beautiful. Inga, what do you think? This is the greatest thing because this reminds me of Germany. The people, they all sit on tables together and they have a wonderful time. I think it looks great. <laughs> we had the old Ninos for 54 years. It was time to freshen it up. I think with this change, we can be here for many more years. Oh, you kept our old picture up. Of course I did. <laughs> you like it, darling? I do. Oh, no, don't get upset. Come I'm on. I'm so grateful. I don't know how to say thank you. I want you to be happy. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful to you. Please. This is like a dream come true. I, I don't know how to thank you. Fall back in love with this amazing <laughs> restaurant. Definitely. I'm speechless. <laughs> and I'm really, really great. Thank you. Thank you, Gordon. To match the new contemporary design of the restaurant, Take one menu and pass them along, please. Thanks. Chef Ramsay has created a rustic menu to complement it. It looks delicious. It looks like it should be in a painting. Very authentic. Oh, everything's in perfect. Now, enjoy the food. It's so Dig incredible. In. OK. Delicious. Oh, my god. Wow. Mm. Tastes good, Ching Parmesan. Bravo. <laughs> It's relaunch night, and Chef Ramsay has a new important job for Nino, running the kitchen. You ready? Yes, sir. You're going to be expediting? Absolutely. Uh, and stay on top of it. We are not going to argue in front of the team, yeah? Yes. This is it. 
Hi. Welcome on a rainy summer night. <laughs> it's so much brighter. So much ambience, so much uh -huh. everything. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, too. I'll try the ricotta cavatelli. Oh, sounds good. Fire up number 15. 15. At this point, it's time to step up and finally convince Chef Ramsey that, that I can do this job, that I can expedite. Okay, deal's up, Chef. We're ready. Linguini's coming up right behind us. With Nino managing the kitchen. All right, here we go. Bam, pasta. Food is coming out at a steady pace. We have a bio. Yes. The sauce is excellent. Yeah. But as more orders come in. Here you go, Nino. Okay, we need to slow it up back out there. Nino is starting to get overwhelmed. Nino. Is that another one? Yeah. Nino, is that right? Somebody's having a minestrone for an entree. Yes, it is. You sure? Yes. Then how can there be five entrees? All I want to do is make sure we check in well, so we don't screw the kitchen. Well, I can, I can uh, check back. He's at table 12. He'll be right back. Let's go. Nino's started getting backed up and overwhelmed, so I would do everything I could to stop it. This deck just disappeared. Uh, okay, so we've got issues okay, with the I, I got it. I got okay. it. Oh, like they, they, want all the, they want all this at the same time. Just okay? checking. That's what we're yeah, checking. I found out. I, I actually, Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. If well, both this, of us this are is, this here, is, we no, can. This... I need a margarita pizza, Valentino. And a cheese tortellini. Hold on one second. Mike just kind of asserted himself into the line, and, and I can see that's going to be very combative. I feel like there's, you know, a war brewing at the pickup window. We're really falling behind. Okay, excuse me, you know, I can't see over your stomach. What, what right. table is this? Lasagna? You know, please don't sleep on the counter. Stand not, up like this. Mike, this I can't see the checks. Just the last like, You know, please. Just stop being angry. I'm not being angry. Just please stand up. Posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just, have okay. to be calm. Yeah, yeah, right. I need a calamari appetizers and a veal. You got to give me table numbers, man. Sorry, you really do. You got to help me out. You're clearly on. Table 12. I can't even take this, man. Pick up table five, cavatelli spaghetti meatball. I need a calamari pickup appetizer and a minestrone. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Fuck me. He talks to me like again. He's going out the door. It's relaunch night at Nino's. I need a calamari pickup appetizer. We need fucking 20 people talking. And Michael has pushed Nino out of the way and is trying to leave the kitchen. Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. But unfortunately, He's putting the relaunch in jeopardy. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Fuck me. Mike. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't blow it up. There's no point in blowing no, the whole. I don't blow up. I was coming up to try to clear the mess. Let's let, let's keep it calm. OK. OK. Very good. I'm calm as a cucumber right now. Sure. Why don't you go outside and get some fresh air? You got it. Nina, table's fired. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Right now, Anthony needs you here on the whole place. Exactly. Yeah, head chef, expediter. Right. You gotta stay like that. Exactly. Okay. I need a calamari for five. I need a calamari for eight. Excellent. Let's go. Order up. Michael. Yeah. Can I have a word, please? Don't let this spoil tonight. Just take a big deep breath. I can't turn off my emotions like that. I'm, I'm not, not asking it's you not to, a light but switch. you're just letting that just spoil the whole fucking thing. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not here and your brother pisses you off, you've got to show some form of control. That's all. Control. Don't let it spoil the night. Yeah, OK. I appreciate it. I'm waiting for table two whenever we're ready. Here we go. Fire the lasagna. Okay, I'm going to take this to table 12. You got it. Thank you. Here's your calamari you needed. Thank you. All right. Delicious. Calamari. Everything's going well right now. You're doing good. Yeah. And the steak. It's really good. It's very good. This is everything I'd ever wanted for our restaurant and hoped for. I'm so overjoyed. It's it's surreal right now. Did you already get that, number seven? Spaghetti meatball. They are all finished. Finished. I can't remember the last time Nino worked that hard. I hope we're going to be here many more years, including me. <laughs> Just with a little less work. That's the last ticket out. Good. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Love Cheers. Cheers. Let me tell you, that wasn't a perfect evening, but thinking that nothing's been changed for 54 years, it was never going to be perfect, let's be honest. Yeah. Nina, you didn't disappear. You stood there and took it. Well done. Thank you. I think you did a remarkable thing for us, and uh, I want this to work 100% with all my fiber. You stick with it. And Michael, how would you sum up tonight? 
it was just very confusing. You know, it's a new look, new menu. You know, we'll see what our, what our regular customers think too. But I can't speak for them. Sure. Do you want it to work? Yes, I do. Yeah? I'm unconvinced you actually want to change, let me tell you. Well... I gotta go. Tragic. Uh, this has been the best day of our family's life, and um, Mike is being a complete asshole. It's really disappointing to see him walking out and being so ungrateful. I hope my family could get behind all this change and really support it. I'm hoping too. Look after yourselves, will you please? And look after each other. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Thank Bye. you. Good night. When this restaurant started, there was no internet. Man had not landed on the moon, and there was no such thing as a color TV. But there was Nino's, and the only way this restaurant can continue is if the family put the past behind them. I'm not sure if they can, but I'm really hoping they can do so. Wow, Nino, he can clean and take photographs as well. In the weeks that followed, although Michael distanced himself from the restaurant, the rest of the family has stepped up. Fire up nine yeah. and seven and the fireplace. Nina was working harder and is taking on more responsibilities, but the task of running the business on a day-to-day -day basis still falls on Inga's shoulders. You enjoyed the pizza? Yes. Oh, great. And despite her full-time job. I do want us to just all work together. Karina has increased her presence at Nino's in hopes that the 54-year-old family restaurant will live on as a legacy for generations to come. 60 miles from Cleveland is the rural farming community of Norwalk, Ohio. It's here where Joe Nagy, after losing his job in food sales, bought a livestock ranch and decided to open Mill Street Bistro. How you guys doing? I was trained and worked for many old school chefs that were Europeans. Just hit it with that wine right there. I always visualized having that place of my own. Mon cherie. The word fine dining is obnoxious. Get a doily on his plate, please, if you can't back it up. Guys, verbiage, okay? Bruschetta, Cristini's, you know what that is? Okay. But I know that I have what it takes to do it. This is their big moment at the bistro. Joe is in denial. This is not a fine dining restaurant. Who do you think you're talking to? This is the finest of the finest. What he tells us every day is he is the best fucking restaurant from New York to LA. I would put this restaurant up against anyone because the passion. Really, we are mediocre at best. What is that? It's kind of gross. I don't know. Isn't that wonderful? The food here is exceptional. We didn't get this elk from UPS. It comes from our ranch. It's fresh, sustainable, and local. We really are from farm to fork. That's why our food is the best by far. He's always playing up the quality of the food. We made that sauce from scratch. <laughs> and I know most of our stuff is frozen. There are corners that are cut. For example, the steaks come from a wholesale food club. Looks good, looks good. They turn brown, they start smelling. I'm like, mm, I would not eat that. <laughs> hey, Joe. I'm eating right now? I, I didn't know. Okay, you came out with it before. Excuse me, excuse me. When I think about Joe, I think of an arrogant, selfish jerk. Quit asking all these arbitrary questions to these customers. Get the ice, cool it down. He talks down to people. Is there enough bread for dinner right now, or yeah. do you want me to do that part of the thinking, too? It's always somebody else's fault. That's your responsibility that the bread doesn't taste stale. He makes it very unbearable to even be here. The way you treat me is disrespectful, crude. Then you need to find another place to work. I come to win. I didn't come to fuck up. I don't think Joe can see past his ego. I know that Tommy and me are handsome guys. Don't come back here and stare at us. Joe doesn't realize his actions affect our livelihood. What is this? That one. The owner was very condescending. 
the owner was rude. Business is super slow, and the big reason people don't come in is because of Joe. I've never had a piece of meat come back in here in 10 years. He's the one who needs to change his way of thinking. Don't come around starting blah, 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 blah. Or we're not going to survive. Is the Mill Street Bistro a kitchen nightmare? By no means. We're not a kitchen nightmare when it comes to cleanliness, functionality. Are we a kitchen nightmare because we have no asses in the seats? Yes. Yes. Before Chef Ramsay visits Mill Street Bistro, Joe wants Gordon to check out his farm so we can show him firsthand the livestock that supplies the restaurant. Joe? Chef Ramsay, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. What a gorgeous place. Yeah, just a small little working ranch. Let me show you around. Please. How long have you had the farm? Eight years. How long have you had the restaurants? Five years. I want Chef Ramsay to critique my restaurant and say, you got something, Joe. That's what I'm looking for. Look at these beauties here. Gorgeous. You're going to try all these animals at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is all the things I've learned in Europe. And, New York and the places I've right. worked and as a table side culinary chef. I see you work as a chef. I am self-taught by old school Europeans. Master chefs that had a liking to me because yeah. of my passion. Yeah. Um, I was in the food distribution business. As a um, salesman? A salesman brilliant. and a consultant for all okay. the large distributors. Well, things changed, so I opened up a restaurant. But and what type of restaurant is it? I like to say fine dining. Fine dining. And is the restaurant making money? No. Why? Because we have to get more asses yeah. in the seats, and we have to get sure. people to take us serious. I think some people are finding me pretentious. Really? They're finding me arrogant. Uh -huh. I'm not arrogant. I'm a passion-loving person. Huh. Let's just kind of swing over here. The buffalo, they should be, in the next uh, several weeks, we having calves. Mm -hmm. This is my buddy here. Your buddy? Yeah. Oh, he goat. Is. Hey, come here, Skinny. What's his name? His name's Skinny? Skinny. Yeah, he's very affectionate. He Look just it. He just really wants to be loved, you know. Are we going to slaughter him? No. No. Oh. You know, I always tell Skinny, I said, you're the only one that's not going to get whacked around here. You know right. what I mean? Everybody else is up for <laughs> wow. debate. You, you know, but he's like my dog, and I take him for rides. He's not your pet. Skinny. Yeah. He just loves to be around me. He's and close he's, to you, isn't he? Yeah. He's an affectionate guy. You were about yeah. to kiss him then, weren't you? Nah, I don't kiss him. I can tell you guys are close. Yeah, we're close. Ah, maybe a little too close, eh? Hey. 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 Hey, don't you dare. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Fuck up. Hey, stop. Stop. You can see, he's, uh, he's jealous. Uh, he's yeah. <laughs> me and you talking. I'll be two minutes, Skinny, OK? You grab a glass of wine, and you pull over here, and he comes over, and he's just licking your hand, and you're just sitting there going, it's nice. worth it. So you have a glass of wine with them as well. I think things get a little strange when you have this relationship yeah. with farm animals. Look at this place. You run this single-handedly? You and Skinny? Me and Skinny. When was the last time you had a day off? Never. Never? I don't Joe, know. come on. The things that I'm doing, it's pretty incredible, even to my standards. What excites me is when I see a man this motivated to put all this effort into food in your local bistro. Yeah. I'm dying to taste some of that passion. Let's do it. OK. I'll, I'll see, see you back at the restaurant. restaurant. Thanks Excellent. for coming out, Chef. Thank you. Tell Skinny we're just friends. <laughs> farm-to-table restaurants have a strong appeal with Chef Ramsay. After being impressed by Joe's farm, he's quite anxious to try the food. Hello. Good afternoon. What a gorgeous Welcome. place. Yes, thank you. Look at this. Ready to sit? Oh, that's stunning. Yeah, fair. Thank you. Follow me, please. Excellent. Oh, why is the fire on? 95 degrees. Um, that is just for aesthetics. It is actually oh, not putting out heat, but it oh. can. It, it oh. can if you need. So that's not really a fire. So turn it off. You could. Well, it's 95 degrees outside, oh. so I just thought, when it's that hot. Agreed. <laughs> when it's that hot outside, do you want to walk in and see a fire? Right. Where would you like me to sit? Right over here. Thank you, my darling. You are welcome. Um, just out of interest. Yes. What's the name tag for? We've always had this since we opened. But we're not a chain, are we? We are not. No. Could you take it off? Of course. Please. Yay! We are not little lost dogs. I'm fine without it. Um, what's wrong with this fine dining bistro? Um, the business is lacking. Why do you think that is? 
It would be Joe and the way he treats the guests. Treats the out guests. on the floor, yes. Oh, really? If they have a complaint. He goes and, what, victimizes the customer? Uh, it has happened, yes, I've seen it happen. Wow, and he's trained with some of the best chefs in Europe. I've heard that story, yes. Seriously? Wow, I mean, things are starting to unravel. Um, OK. Uh, anyway, I'd like to see as much as I can okay. so I can get up to speed with this fine dining sure. bistro. Any specials? Um, the features we have this evening, we have house-made bruschetta for an Sorry, appetizer. So specials? Features. <laughs> we are told to use features as our descriptive word for what we have available that is not on the menu. I feel like I'm going to see a movie. What restaurant says features? Who does that? So do you have any features? Yes, our features this evening, elk medallion served over a grilled portobello mushroom cap. Let's go for the uh, elk feature. OK. All right. Uh, what else? The catch of the day, we are offering a trio of our Ohio-raised bluegill. We have perch and wow. largemouth bass. Let's go for that. Okay. Local, love it. Um, scallops on crude. OK. For the vegetarian ravioli primavera. Onion soup, please. OK. Uh, oyster Rockefeller. Porcini scallops, I've got to go for. OK. Is that a quesadilla? It is a quesadilla. <laughs> It's not fine dining or bistro. Well, let's go a little bit Mexican, shall we? I'm okay. Have an elk quesadilla. Lots of elk, but not quesadilla. Is that a typo error? That is the price. New York strip, 26. Mm -hmm. Filet mignon, 29. Yes. They must be some of the most expensive prices locally, right? Correct, yes. Wow. Um, I think we're done, darling. Nice to meet you. You as well. The good news is, at least it's farm to table, so I've got something to cling on to. All right, he wants a French onion soup. Do his quesadilla, start getting that prep. We do things with passion, with integrity. I need 10 raviolis, please. The food here at the bistro is the freshest, hands down. How are you, sir? That is on the badge. Bill. Yes. I know your name now. You can take it off. Thank you. Excellent. Come on over. Uh, good to meet you. Good day, you as well. It's a pleasure. Likewise. What's the first thing wrong with this place? Uh, well, we make no effort whatsoever to market to the locals. Really? Uh, apparently, um, wow. yes. I, I think Joe believes the restaurant's a little above the local area. Seriously? A, I think that's probably a problem. I thought it was pricey, but I mean, 16,000 locals on your doorstep. Why would you ignore them? Arrogance. Wow. So, how'd you rate it in terms of the food on a scale of 1 to 10? 5. Bill. You're scaring me. Can I meet all the staff with the badges? I want to get rid of those bloody things. Let's call a meeting with the badges. Say hello and give me your badge. Let's go. Yeah. Turn your badge in. You're a wanted man. Down. Sure, thank Excellent. Thank you. you Next. Go. First name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Bex. Excellent. Madam. Wonderful. Come hear you. Hello. Name tag. Now. Fires off. Badges are down. Excellent. Would this be my French onion? Yes, ma'am. I can hear him now. Is the onion soup supposed to be so goddamn bloody good? <laughs> All right, so we have the French onion soup to start you off. Thank you, my darling. Uh, who made the soup? Joe makes the soup. Joe, wow. Thank you. The cheese is barely melted. Jeez. Normally should be a little more packed with onions. There's so much fat on top of it. Greasy. This is going to GR. Amy's up. Oh, what is that? Oysters Rockefeller. OK, great. May I take um, that? Thanks, darling. Yeah, it was really greasy on top. OK, I'll greasy let him know. Greasy watery and um, short of cheese and onions. OK. Um, what happened here? That is a parsley infused oil. And he squirts that on top? Around the rim. Jesus. Right. I'll check on you in a moment. Thanks, darling. Wow. Joe, Chef Ramsey said that it was greasy, it had a lack of onions, and not enough cheese. Not enough cheese? Not enough cheese. Hmm. Let me go talk to this guy. <laughs> Chef, would you like us to prepare another French onion? Joe, it takes me about four hours to caramelize the onions. I'd like to move on. Want to move? Okay, and, sure. And I'd like sure. to continue tasting. Sure. And... Okay, let's do that then. Yeah, Have you had an opportunity to taste uh, yeah, the oysters uh, Rockefeller? What, what's the, is that a bechamel on top? What is that on there? What have we put there? It's the hollandaise. Hollandaise, because it's all broken, but I had to spit that out because it's it's bitter. That normally comes when oysters are frozen. Mm-hmm. 
What's the oil around the outside that's like? We just put a, a little bit of our olive oil. It right. was just more of a garnish that should so not have been. Can, can, you, can you see yeah, my rim? Yeah. But I don't see anything on the oysters. Right. Well, I got it in there, in there, in there. <laughs> well, we're not dousing the plate in oil. I'm not here to argue. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I can make you another one of these if you oh, want to no. just keep on moving. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's move. Let's keep Let's moving. Let's keep moving. I Let's got keep you. moving. OK, we'll do, I'll take these away. Excellent. When it comes to Chef Ramsay, I'm not intimidated because I know a lot of chefs. I've cooked and been all around. Oyster Rockefellers with Tara. That's funny, man. Oh, we have a look. Please, put that down. That looks, ooh, why is it on a rack? Oh, this is just so we can show our. Who makes the cake? They come from Cleveland. And this is like a procession of funeral <laughs> for the cake. Walk past the girl and I'll throw some flowers at it as you walk past. Walk past. Okay. Ready? This is what you do when people are dead. Do you uh, sing yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Long rest of the cake. <laughs> God. <laughs> come on. <laughs> bum, bum, ba <ba-da. laughs> What you should be doing is look. You should have that. Turn around. You carry the front of the procession. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> right, you, you've, got, you've got it from here. In we go, in we go, in we go. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. What in the bloody hell of putting carrots on it? A puff pastry, why would you do that? <laughs> this would be your scallop on croute. Thank you, Diane. Are these uh, the... Local carrots. Micro carrots. Oh, micro carrots. Yeah. From chefs. From the local farm. Do you not think you should let it grow a bit? Well, I don't think they're there to, 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 to be really eaten. They're more oh, for a garnish. A... Oh. That's a garnish. Oh, so I'm... Just to add some color. OK. But I would like to explain what we're spending on micro carrots. Yeah. Can we go through this after? Whatever you no. want to do. You you are here right. as our guest. Can I give those back to you? Joe? I don't personally want them myself, but you can take them back to the kitchen. Oh, no, I personally didn't want them. Thank you, You're Amy. I have staff here that'll take care of that. You don't hand me raw food in my dining room. Man, that fucking pissed me off, man. We don't need them to bust our balls over if there's little petite carrots that go there. Those same carrots go to the White House. Those same carrots go to the Five Seasons. They go global, OK? Who would care if a fucking garnish, micro garnish carrot was on as a garnish? You're going to hand the owner the little petite carrots? Because he know he's in the wrong place. Now that Chef Ramsay is beginning to question the cuisine. Can I give those back to you? Joe is beginning to show his true colors. I don't personally want them. Let's go up and croot. Sorry, Amy. These things are, they're, they're like rubber bullets. It's so firm. And look at this, the pastry's raw. That is a common complaint. Gooey, slimy, gross. Let me take uh, this right out of your you way. Show that to him. I sure will. Yeah, thank you, my <laughs> darling. You're welcome. Wow, I'm crude my ass. <laughs> <clears throat> Joseph, firm, chewy, rubber bullets. Disgusting. He, apparently, there's nothing that he likes. Okay, yeah, just set it down. We said we'd talk about it at the end. Okay. So, puff pastry. It's about as flaky as you can fucking get right here. Well, it still looks a little doughy to me. Wow. The elk quesadilla. Ah, uh, is that the, uh... The queso cheese. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. My god. It's, like, chewy, tough. And if there's one thing that should never go in a quesadilla, it's elk. I got one thing to say to this quesadilla. Adios. Wow. The vegetarian ravioli. Oh, jeez. I spotted some more of that oil again. Yes. Oh, jeez. It is the dish I least like serving. Wow. Um, thanks, Danny. You're welcome. Thanks, Ash. Have a look at it. It's gross. Wow. I mean, that is a joke. I mean, it's ice cold. 
Let's get one thing right. Farm to table is not. Farm to garbage can is disgusting. Amy, will you show him that? It's ice cold. I certainly yeah. will. Thanks, Sally. So these are ice cold. They were hot when they went out. It took me 10 seconds to get from here to I know. there. I guess okay. we could cook them until they're totally piping hot. I think they should be. Not cold. Yeah, that's how we do it, man. Right on. Wow, catch of the day. Catch of the day. Oh, geez. We have the sea bass, mm -hmm. the perch, and the bluegill. Uh, one thing I did need to ask you, uh, temperature preference for your elk medallions. I'd like to go mid-rare, please. All right. Thank you, You're welcome. Jesus. The fish is dry. Almost like it's been freezer burnt. And that one there, grease. Put your fork in there. It's just full of grease. Amy, rescue me. I just rubbery. And this one here. Look. Purge, you go there, it's just full of grease. Very greasy. I don't know why you do a trio all the same with the same bread. I, agree. I, just, I, I just, agree. But the biggest disappointment is nothing tastes fresh. A catch of the day means fresh. But to me, okay, they cat. all taste frozen. Okay. Thanks, darling. Okay. Tom, it all tastes frozen. It does not taste fresh at all. Hey, Amy, this set that down right now. Take this out. Okay. This food's gotta get out. Right. What, what, what's wrong? <laughs> They said it all tastes frozen, and it should have been done in different breadcrumbs. This is how they fucking do it in Ohio. If you did it any other way, they wouldn't eat it in Ohio. Oh, please. Elk medallions on a grilled portobello mushroom. Wow. And, oh, these are not for eating. Thank you, madame. You're welcome. Tough as old boots. This is incredible. Would you be, would you mind? I would not. So, yeah, please. That is dreadful. I can't even chew it. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not edible. Would you like to know how much we charge for that? This one? $35. $35? Yes, chef. Wow. Will you ask him to taste that? Okay. I'll be back. Thank you. Wow. He would like you to taste the elk. Very tough, chewy, the main item in the dish. He's dead wrong. That's aged elk. Elk is going to have a bite. It's going to have a chew. It's characteristic of it. It's never going to change. That is a tender piece of elk. Chef Ramsay does not know the bite of an elk, and I would like to go to his restaurant where he has elk. That fucking elk is tender. It's delicious. What I'm trying to accomplish is from farm to fork. This is how these items eat. I was surprised that he didn't get that. I'm going to challenge him. I'm going to say, you know what? At my expense, I'm going to go to your fucking restaurant, and you make me elk, and you show me how to make it. Joe said you are dead wrong. Dead wrong? Dead wrong. He had two pieces. He said, and I quote, that is a tender piece of elk. Wow. If you honestly thought that was tender, they can eat my running shoes, you know that. Uh, thanks for all your uh, insight. OK. Tell everyone to get ready for dinner. I'll, okay. I'll be back. OK. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, darling. And I'll talk to Joe after, yeah? OK. I'm going out for some fresh air. OK, In I'll fact, let I'm going out. Uh, is it, where is, is there a local cafe nearby or? Uh, berries up. Berries. Yep. That's it. The dinky. I've heard of berries. See you. I saw that on Main Street. Thank you, darling. Correct. Wow. Chef Ramsay said he is going to get something to eat, get some air, and he will be back for dinner. I wonder where he's going to go get something to eat that's so great. <laughs> I'm going to go to a restaurant to get some food. You motherfucker. He's going to leave and go get something to eat? Good luck. Go find something better. Chef Ramsay has returned to Mill Street Bistro after a walk around town and a quick bite. Where's uh, Joe? He is ready to give his verdict on the food to Joe, and the staff couldn't be more excited to witness it. I just want to talk about lunch. Yeah. It's going to be entertaining. Your thoughts on my lunch? My thoughts on, yeah. your, on your lunch? Yeah, at inside, yeah. And I've never had anybody in my career critique my items that told me every one of them was a piece of shit, and they had to go down the street to eat. Wow. 
That was uncalled for. Oh my God. Can I just give you an insight to my life? Sure, since you've asked me, now you can go ahead. That's okay. very kind of you. I wasn't impressed with anything. I didn't take second or third mouth from any dish. Let's start off with the scallops on croute. The pastry was raw, rubbery scallops, bland. Okay. Next course, oyster Rockefeller. Yeah, oyster disaster. <laughs> okay. Catch the day. Out of those three fish, which one was fresh? He's not going to answer me. It'll just be BS. How many of those oh, catch the day? You. you think your fish is fresh? Does that fucking say fresh fish? On the board, it says fresh catch of the day. What does catch of the day mean? Fresh fish. Catch of the frozen freezer? We have fresh fish. No, we don't. No, we do no. not. <laughs> well, Lake Erie perch was fresh. They were all IQF frozen. IQF, Individually, sorry. quickly frozen. Right. When did that come off the boat? Four days ago. So you haven't got any in your freezer? Pardon? You haven't got any in your freezer? Fresh fish? Have you got it in your freezer? Yeah. Thank you. What does catch of the day mean, Joe? It means what is fresh, local to the region at the time. Not frozen. You're trying to pull the wool over your customer's eyes. If it's not fresh, don't call it fresh. Catch of the day. Mm -hmm. Go to the next thing. We, we, we got it. it. You're not answering a straight question with a straight answer, and you're deflecting it. No, I'm not deflecting everything. I'm frozen telling you. Fish, that's, that's, frozen fish, frozen oysters. Fresh. You're deflecting everything. You've made only. your point. Next course, elk quesadilla, dry, Rubbery, disgusting elk okay. that should go nowhere near a quesadilla. I'm OK with that. What were you thinking putting that in a quesadilla? What was I thinking? Yeah, just. Yeah, I got the right. balls to make what I feel that might work. My next course, elk medallions. There was nothing wrong with that elk. Chewy, bland, raw in the middle. You wanted a medium rare. Oh, paying $35 for it, I thought I deserved that. Okay. Excuse me, so if I got the medium, would they have tasted better? They would have been more consistently cooked. Oh. I have been eating elk for 30 years. Do you have it on your menu? Seasonally. You explained to me what the game season sure. is. So it's when okay. game okay. is at its absolute best. This is back, the, the, in, the, uh, the, back the, in Scotland? The, no, or, or no, this, no, no, this no. Is where? Uh, New York. New York. Yeah, New York. Let me tell you something. You're not a chef. Stop pretending to be one. Did I tell you I was a chef? You told me you trained with the best chefs in Europe. I did fucking tell you that. I am self-taught by old school Europeans. Master chefs that had a liking to me. Who is the chef here? It's my kitchen, I'm the chef. You just told me you're not, but now you are. I'm not a certified chef like No, I know yourself. that, but who cooks? I do. Right, so you're the head chef. You write the menus. You dictate the special features. Correct. Let me tell you something. You're not a fine dining bistro. You're a small man with a fake bistro. You're shooting way above your station. You've totally misjudged your market because all these pretentious ideas that you think are going to work are screwed. What are you referring okay, well, here we go. Okay, make it easy for you. Yeah, I, know I speak English, English too. OK. Store-bought chocolate cake garnished with fake flowers. You don't even cook. You just prance around behind the line, throwing raw bits of carrots on top of raw pastry. I've never come across a bistro anywhere in the world. In the world. Data. In the world. In the world? We'll Dude, research that. You are so fucking arrogant. You don't even listen to your customers, let alone your staff. You have a gifted young group of servers that told me more problems and issues in the first mm -hmm. 20 minutes of meeting them than you have done all fucking day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's funny. Yeah. From a fake fireplace to fake garnish, yeah, you want me to blow fucking smoke up your phony ass. I don't want you to blow smoke up my phony ass. Wow. It was petite micro carrots that it was It's not garnish. just about the carrots. Carrots is just a fucking example of 20 things that have gone wrong. You're busting I'm my balls. Because you're in fucking denial. You want me to come in and change your carrots and make some fresh fucking chocolate cake for you? Yeah. I'm lost for words. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Do you know what you could do for me? Impress me with your dinner service. 
Show me how you function, chef. You want to see what comes back? Our elk does not come back. I'm deeply sorry your feelings are hurt. My fucking feelings ain't hurt. Oh. You well, can't hurt my feelings. You're ignoring my advice. No, I'm not. you're going up against me. No, I'm not yes, ignoring you are. your advice. I feel like Christmas has come early. Defensive, ignorant, and in complete it's it's denial. denial. If I'm all that, you're my twin. What? Yeah, because I've been called you here many a times. So let's get over to bullshit. I can cook, Joe. When you have the arrogance to stand in front of me and charge your locals $35 fucking dollars for entrees that are inedible, have a look at yourself, man. People seem to enjoy it. Bullshit. Bullshit. That didn't go so well. After clashing with Chef Ramsay over the quality of his food, owner Joe is truly not understanding Gordon's point of view. I know more about fucking elk and buffalo and beef than he'll ever know. Gordon Ramsay didn't get it. He's saying that I'm shortchanging people and that that was fraud. Come on, let's cook our rotten fucking food that uh, that he wouldn't have when he was in the county jail. Give me a fucking break, Chef Ramsey. Well, he just slammed my restaurant like it's never been. He does not know what I know about lake fish. He does not know what I know about buffalo. And I'm supposed to take this that my food is garbage and I'm a fraud? I don't give a shit what he says. How many times did you have elk come back since you've been here, Bex? Jen? Kaylee? Bill? Speak up. I think every one of you, you need to get your shit together. That's what this is about. You got customers out here. So I, I appreciate what you're doing. I honestly appreciate each and every one of you what you're doing, OK? Well, let's get to dinner service. Right this way, folks. My apologies of how much you heard. This is some of the finest fucking elk you can get. Where Chef Ramsay called it garbage, the worst shit in the world. We're supposed to wait to serve it when the grass is a certain height back over in Scotland. My name's Bill. I'll be taking care of you tonight. I'll have the beef strip chops. All right. I'll have the New York strip medium. Medium? Tom, you need to check uh, cream of asparagus. Is it pure vegetarian? Listen, leave the kitchen. Go over the other side. Joe gets mad if anybody's saying anybody anything to the kitchen. You know, he says, you need to be in there. You need to be quick. You need to respond to get the fuck out of the kitchen. We went over this in the beginning of the shift. Tom, is that for quiet? You're not allowed to talk? Oh. Now, what does a good quiet mean? Neighbors complaining? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be any unnecessary chatter in the kitchen. So no chatter? Right. So how do you communicate? <laughs> Who put that up there? I put that up. So we got a job to do. We're trying to focus. Mediocre as we are, people just said, you know, if they want to talk about something, just take it out there. You OK? Oh. Yeah, you OK? Oh, I'm fine. Jesus Christ, don't shout. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice talk. You okay? I know we can't talk, but you okay? Yeah, thank you. Let me know. Give me a sign. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got a porcini scallop, a perch, a pork chop, and a strip. Oh, well, that That's might be my chicken me. verdicchio, then. It's like you're guessing now. What table number is this? You don't have to ask how long? Yeah, he has not said what table it's coming up. Jesus Christ. No. Okay, let's get these out. Boom, 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 and we should be OK after that. Even though there are very few words exchanged between the front of house and the kitchen, Stay to work. food is still being delivered at a reasonable pace. Or chini scallops. Unfortunately, the food is missing the mark with many of the customers. It's kind of gross. It just doesn't taste good. The sauce is potent. Let me get it out of your way. Is there something else we could get for you? No. Sorry about that. This was sent back. She said it doesn't taste good. Okay. What's wrong with it? She did not like it. She said like it doesn't taste right. It's strong. Huh? It's strong, huh? Very strong. 
Come say. I think what she did is she got a bite of rosemary. Oh, God, Joe. Is she complaining she's got a branch of rosemary in her teeth? No, she's not. I think it's overpowering. The beer doesn't work and it's too strong. He didn't mention anything about rosemary. Come on. Man. Hey, we're past that. What well, I mean, cook. OK, cook then. Fuck me. Try to cook then. Passion. Passion fruit, mate. That's the closest you'll get to passion. You got a pebble in your ravioli. Like a rock. Yeah. An actual rock. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a rock. I will take this. What is that? This was in my lady's ravioli. What is it? Like a rock. Wow. Huh? Wow. Joe, ladies bought in ravioli. Like a rock in there. What table number, please, Amy? 31. It's like a stone. I've never seen it. My God. That doesn't happen here, but it happened now. Oh, man. All right, what, what else can we fuck up here? He is being so critical and so brutal. Tommy, we're going to make all the bad food that we make for everybody. Wow. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. That's it. I can't do anymore. I could cook, let me tell you, but ain't going to do this. It's dinner service at Mill Street Bistro. And in spite of multiple dishes being returned to the kitchen... Joe, ladies bought in ravioli. Like a rock in there. All right, what, what else can we fuck up here? Joe remains in denial. Tommy, we're going to make all the bad food that we make for everybody. Oh, my God. That's chef, my ass. I don't care. Hello? Ah, Teresa, how are you? As part of his research, Chef Ramsay had reached out to a former employee, and her return phone call could not have happened at a better time. Thanks so much for coming down. Do you good? It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Well, good to see you, too. I have just some things I wanted to share with you and tell you. Let's go stand over here. Wow, wow, wow. Um, take me from the start, will you, please? Give me some background. You quit recently. How long ago? A month ago. Well, I was hired for Garmage and Prep. And then what happened? I ended up being garmage prep, dishes, cleaning. I did my own prep list. We have no head chef. So I'm in there busting my ass. He has to have someone always to put his frustrations onto, scapegoat. And so he had only me to do it. And I would come in every day, and it was just, this is wrong, that's wrong. And telling me how horrible you know, I was being, pretty much. And I, I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm doing much better now. I'm Good. not crying when I go home. I'm not stressing out before I go to work. The reason I quit. I have too much pride. You're right. No. It took some pictures. This is the stuff that was here. That's meat in a baggie. What's it doing in a bag? It's blood. It's to be served. To be served? That's the chef garden vegetables. Wow. That's the black girl pork chops. Oh my god, what is it with this guy? He preaches farm to table. All I've seen is frozen to table. The steaks he buys, he goes to a store and buys the tenderloins and stuff and he cuts them up. Why is he pretending? Why is he playing at it? Why is he kidding himself on, trying to pull the wool over the customer's eyes? He just, it's a cheapskate. He wants to make money. The locals in this area, he thinks he's... Calls them hillbillies. Seriously. Dreadful. He needs to know that what he's doing is wrong. He needs to get his stuff together in there. I don't see how you're going to do it. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate you coming down. Yes, and it was nice to I meet you. Likewise. All right, thank you. On the heels of getting more disturbing information from an insider, Chef Ramsay knows he needs to do a deeper investigation, and it begins in the storage room. Ah, my God. Half frozen, blood stains, sat. Well, it's not even frozen, it's half soft, half frozen. Where's that from? No date. Wow, what a mess. My God, frozen food that's been frozen since 2009, three years ago, used by 2010. Frozen blue cheese. Why would you freeze blue cheese? Farm to table, it's not. What is that? It's like frozen AstroTurf. What is that? Ah, bingo. There they are, my little Rockefellers, full of water. Wow. Lesson number one, never, ever freeze an oyster. The worst thing you can ever do to it. Wow. Frozen shrimp from farm to freezer to defrost. Shrimp of the day. He's showing off his farm to table. 
blown smoke up my arse about how fresh everything is. And look, a freezer full of frozen oysters, mussels, to frozen cheeses. Why would you put blue cheese in a freezer? Why? Why, why, why? Why would you freeze any oyster? Wow. What a fake. I need two chips on. Gotcha, gotcha. Joe, I get upset when I see fakery from a frozen ravioli, a frozen perch, frozen oysters, and when you deny it, that makes me mad. Well, let's talk you about that. Yeah, because you're, 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 you're making up stories. I'm, I'm not making up yes, stories. Yes, you are. That's how fucking no. deluded you are. No, I'm not deluded. We have fresh stuff, OK? I'm struggling here okay. to stay in this building right now. I swear to God. Gordon, I got to cook right now. Yeah, I was okay. trying, I wish you would. I'm standing here watching a dead man walking. Joe, I need a regular French onion soup. Onion soup. All right, the onion soup's ready. Are they raw onions in there? What's that? Did you put raw onions in there? I didn't know. Why are we doing this to each other? I don't. Is this a wind up? Look at me, putting raw onions in a soup. I don't know if you're just fucking around. I'm, I'm, I'm lost, Joe. Why are you doing this? Well, you, you, you said earlier that it needed more onions, OK? We responded by putting the onions in there so they had more of a bite to it. It's raw. What's the matter with you? We sent that out there. It's going to come straight back. What do you want to hear? That I take it off, Joe. Take the menu off the menu. 86 it. Save whatever little reputation you got left. Man. Surely you got a bit more respect than that. I'm trying to reason with you, Joe. I get it. Fine. I get it. Fine. But I am not here to show an idiot you can't put fucking raw onions in an onion soup. I can't teach you that. That's called common sense. That in your tiny mind is not common. Pardon? Come here, you. Should we put raw onions in a caramelized onion soup? Tell him! No. Thank you. You've got talented staff to tell you that. Ask your chef. It's like you're doing it to me on purpose. His verbal bullshit is just a bunch of bullshit. But his physical stance in your way is ridiculous. So what he needs to do is get out of the kitchen. We can talk about it yeah, at some other now. time. We're busy. Joe, draw me out of here. Tell me the truth. If you want me out of here, I'm going to leave. <clears throat>